This is a story almost unbelievable, but true. In my younger years, I sought for a goodly companion, time and time again. But due to my lack of money, I was not capable of driving a very new car or dressing as neat as upper-class people, and every girl I sought for turned their back on me. Finally, I found a young single girl that I loved more than all the rest, so I sought for her with all my heart. Her parents said I was too old for her and wouldn't even allow their daughter to speak to me. I sought the Lord to help me in fervent prayer and tears. I prayed so long and so hard that in my dream I was praying so fervently that my sweat was blood. I had to know what God willed for me, so I got into my truck. I already knew that it would run a little better than 80 miles an hour. I left my lights turned out and opened my truck wide open down a gravel road after dark, asking the Lord to give me this girl or give me death. I had no intentions of ever taking my foot off the throttle. I never until I had flipped the truck end over end at 80 miles an hour. When the truck had quit flipping, I was laying on the floorboard. I got the door open and got up on my feet and walked about two miles back home where I lived by myself. I turned my lights out and laid on the couch on my back and prayed silently into the Lord with all my might. Suddenly my spirit dropped out of my body down into the earth. All at once it sounded like a million dogs gnashed on my spirit with their teeth. I was horribly frightened. Suddenly there I was in the bottom of hell. The dogs had quit gnashing and there wasn't nothing but fire coming up all around me. I was so determined to have what I was praying for, I started walking across the bottom of hell in the direction of the girl's house whom I loved so. And then my spirit returned back up into my body on the couch. The next day they found my truck totally demolished and my dad had me sent to a mental hospital. I felt I was totally forsaken by every human being. The very first words that the tenant said to me at the hospital gave me a warm feeling. He said, John, we need each other. I found a Bible and the first words I read were the words of Jesus, which said, Again, the kingdom of heaven is likened to a merchant man seeking goodly pearls, who when he had found one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had and bought it. Friends, this story is true, for I am this merchant man.